Mama, you're just waiting so patient. Your mom is like the best one out of all of you guys. So look at all these cool guys. Look at them, it's a whole family. Ray, tell us a little bit about them. These are ringtail lemurs on the southeastern part of Madagascar. They're intrigued though with that camera. They're like, what in the world is that? Hey, babies. So they got this really, really cool swing here. And uh, these guys are from Madagascar. Look at him, look at him. He's on my arm, he's just <laughs> licking away. <laughs> And uh, we got a whole family, a whole family. I'm out at Chase. This is, tell us a little bit about the rescue. Um, Chase Animal Sanctuary was founded 20 years ago. It started out with cats and dogs. Hey, stop. And then we moved on to kangaroos. And now we got our Tracy, our 37 year old lemur. And as soon as we got her, we fell in love. And then that's when we knew we were gonna rescue lemurs from here on out. How many lemurs do you have We here? have 23 in total. 23? Yes. Wow. 23. And here we have... And they're super active, like they got a lot of energy. Yeah. They're swinging around, they're jumping around. The ringtails around. have the most common, like they're the most energetic out of all the lemurs. They're kind of like puppy dogs. The rough lemurs are kind of like cats, but they'll come up to you if they want to. And where, so where do all these lemurs come from? These You're come in Florida. from... We're in South Florida right now. <laughs> We're uh, about Well, an these hour. guys actually, they're like the most common ringtail or lemur in the pet trade. The ringtail is the most common out of everything. Probably because they're so cute, right? Well, and that and King Julian. Whoa! From the, the movie Madagascar. Look at these guys move! <laughs> See, now they're going to play. Hi, Mama. Oh. And because of the movie. Yep. That movie, after it was a big hit, I think there was over 500 lemurs that were sold. Did wow. Did you just pee on me? Now you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, or what's your feeling about that? I have mixed emotions on that. There's, I don't believe like exotic pet trade should be a thing. Like certain animals, yes, but then I also think like people should be allowed to own them if with the right training. If there was proper training, like class three. they know three, how to take care of them. Yeah, if they know how to take care of them, they had proper enclosures. You know, they have two tongues. They have two tongues? Yep, they have two tongues. What do they do with One their two tongues? One is a grooming, like a grooming tongue. So it's very rough and kind of like a cat's tongue. And then the other one, which he's using right now, is very soft for eating and doing other purposes. But the grooming tongue is very hard so they can get bugs off of each other. So how old is this little guy right here? This little guy is about seven. He'll be seven months next week. Only and we actually months. did not know about any of the babies. When we first got her, she came from a breeder and they said she couldn't breed for them anymore, so she came to us and out popped oops and whoops two months later. Then, okay, so she was already pregnant. Yeah, she, she was already here. pregnant when she came here and we didn't know. So we woke up one morning and we saw babies. And when we first got her, she refused to let us near any of the babies. She was so terrified we were going to take them away from her. But as soon as she had Tick and Talk here, we were allowed to come up. Do you think she, she was, was used us? to that because she was a breeder? Like, yeah, she was, she was definitely used to that. She expected it. And the way she cowered in that corner, in the very high corner, she cowered with her babies over there, scared we were gonna take them. Aww. But the second set of twins, the smaller ones, she let us come right up. She would let us pick them up, which is not common. Ringtails actually hate to be picked up. And now they fully trust us, so we don't have to worry about her. These guys are like super friendly guys. Like, ah! <laughs> And I actually think um, bottle-fed babies tend to get more aggressive. Like all of our ringtails in psych ward, they actually get very aggressive being bottle-fed because they get attached to their human. But as a family, this troop, they're super friendly. We've never had any aggression with them towards us. Like they'll fight amongst each other, just that's what they do. But with us, they've never had any aggression towards us. So when you guys first get lemurs, yes. um, they first come in and they, they've... Sometimes maybe they come from a situation that's not uh, not the best. They go into a place. You just said psych ward. Yes, now, that it's sounds psych scary. ward. It's like, and why it's are perfect. you guys putting why are you guys putting <laughs> lemurs in the psych ward? What are you psych doing with these perfect. lemurs? Here? It gives us first of all safety for us and our other animals. It gives us a chance to get to know them to make not sure all they're of them are this friendly. No, no. Some of the psych wards, if we even put our hand near the enclosure, they try and grab us. They'll try and scratch us. They'll try and bite through the thing and they pull at the bars to try and get out and attack us. And we even, even though they are aggressive, we do give them time in our electronet, so they get to free roam and everything. 
but we also have to make sure no volunteers go in there during that time. Yeah, so these guys <laughs> got a huge enclosure here where they got lots of different stuff where they can play, they can swing, they can jump, and uh, they get to run out there sometimes. They actually get to go outside, so super lucky. They are. They are precious. They are spoiled. Nope, no more. No more. Oh. And then they do that. But it's never towards us. They fight amongst each other, so we never have to worry. You were saying earlier, there's kind of like a pecking order with the uh, Yeah, lemurs. so the females, all lemur species, except for the brown lemur, um, ringtails, rough lemurs, the there's black lemurs, all sorts of lemurs. They all have, the females are the top of the chain, like the food chain. The females? The females! What? The girls are in charge? Yes, the girls are in charge. And so do they, how, how, do they just beat up on the guys? Is that how they do that? Or? No, the, the guys automatically know. So they know that, okay, females are in charge. Yeah, they got to respect them. And the males typically, like in the wild, they'll actually go, they'll have, they say they're attached to one female for the rest of their lives, but they're not. They're kind of like humans. <laughs> they'll have sex and they'll go to a different troop, have sex again and create more babies. But they'll always come back to their babies, their original troops. So they're loyal in the troop. Yeah. <laughs> they're loyal in the troop, but they not... They go on the road, you don't know no Yeah. Okay. They just switch from troop to troop. <laughs> the females, though, they will battle it out to see who is the top of the food chain. And usually it's the strongest, most powerful female. It's the biggest bite. And then they do kill off the like the elderly or any lemurs that get sick, they will kill it. They'll gang up on them and kill them. He's about to jump. So that's kind of brutal. That's brutal. I'm going to bite you if you don't give it to me. <laughs> oh, here goes baby. Uh -huh. Baby will just take. You just take. These you guys are terrible. They don't care if their mom needs to eat. They will take it from her. <laughs> like she's there to feed me. <laughs> she's there to feed me. They don't wait at all. No. They just go crazy. <laughs> they just take all the food. They don't wait their turn. <laughs> lemurs are nuts. They're worse than sharks, guys. Don't trust the lemur. <laughs> So what are some things that uh, you would say, they're like, where's the food? There's no more food, what's going on? What are some things that you would say if somebody were gonna own a lemur, I mean, <laughs> what does it take well, to take care of a lemur? Well, first off, we have actually, to deal with this. Actually, <laughs> what does it take to take care of a lemur? Hey, we, um, got a, we, got a, we got a lemur attacking the camera. It's really hard to even film with lemurs, yeah. guys. It's super hard. Are there some tips that like, how much do you, do you have to, how often do you have to feed them? Um, what do you feed them? we feed them twice a day. Like, it just depends. We can do, we, we try to stick by the AZA manual for feeding. And then they do need a large enclosure. A lot of people get them and they put them in a bird cage. And they need something like this. They need to something like this around. where they can run around, they can jump because they are super high energy. Yeah. And they're not going to get their workouts in. And they do need other lemurs. If you're going to get one, try and get a pair. Try and get them a playmate. A little friend. They're a social animal. They they're are. They're very socialized. They so do think, need oh, friends. Oh, it's cute. I'm just going to just have a lemur. Don't do it. Don't do it. And if you do, get two. <laughs> yes, but if you do, you have to get two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, okay, what, on one level. And then you can also find like a sanctuary like Chase or there's tons of sanctuaries that do have the lemurs. And they'll let you, they'll train you on how to properly take care of them. How to take care of them? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> See, this is what happens, guys, when you're trying to do a vlog with lemurs. The lemurs are all over the place. Hey, babies. Yeah, they're, they're climbing up the... the ah, it's my it, hair. You're pulling hair. <laughs> Lose one lemur, you get another. <laughs> Not my oh, face. Give you kisses. You were saying they, get a, they actually get jealous for attention? Yes, and that's why when people buy them as a single pet, they get attached to that one person. So when family members or other people come around them, they get jealous or territorial and they'll attack a family member or a pet or anything. Okay. So they'll attack just to, because they feel like it's a threat and you're taking that person away from them. And then that's what most of our psych ward is, is they attack family members. And then when they come here, they don't know. Right from wrong. So. They seem to like me. They haven't really, I mean. Well, and things too, like when you get them as a bottle fed baby, a lot of people don't discipline them. They'll start to bite, and you got a mom will actually bite them in the nose. And so, hey, that's not okay. <laughs> and so when they don't have their mom to take care of that and teach them manners, then they get aggressive. But if she, if she feels like they're getting too rough, she'll actually track them down and bite them in the nose to tell them to knock it off. 
Oh man, so this is like corporal, corporal punishment here oh. in the lemur clan. <laughs> yeah. Lemurs, how do you feel about that in this day and age? Oh. Like, oh, we're, gonna like, fight. I want that we're gonna put those kids in line. <laughs>